Junius, Episode 4. Hanc justam grammatica divisionem esse res ipsa locutur, cum sermo a natura sit scriptura prior, scriptura vero posterior, ut sermonis signum, quod utrumque in grammatica ostenditur, ac in literaria quidem in sunt etymologia et syntaxis, quatenus effinguntur scripto, et in sermo canatrice contra in sunt quodam modo orthographia et prosodia, propter rerum cum signis communicationem. Junius continues giving his definitions and statement of terms. He begins with this accusative, hanc justam divisionem. The subject of this sentence is race, modified by ipsa, and the verb is loquitur. And loquitur, which is to say or to speak from the deponent verb loquor, loqui, introduces oratio obliqua, or indirect statement. And the subject of that indirect statement is the accusative divisionem, and the verb is esse, and the predicate is justam. So it goes like this. That this divisionem, that this division of the grammatical art is proper, justam, or appropriate, or just, the subject matter itself declares loquitur. If we want to recast it in typical English word order, we might say, the very subject matter, res ipsa, expresses the fact, locutur, that this division of the grammatical art is appropriate. And here's why. Because cum sermo, spoken language, or spoken thought, is prior, is prior to or comes before written thought by nature, a natura, we might say naturally. Scriptura here is an ablative of comparison. But scriptura, now this is nominative, comes later, posterior, just as does the signum, the indicator, the sign of the spoken word, or spoken thought, namely speech, sermonis. And then we have quod, the antecedent of which is signum. Which signum, which sign or marker of spoken thought, both of them, that is, quodotrumque, both of them are revealed or is made clear, it's, pr- it's a singular, in the grammatical art. What Junius is saying, and I perhaps have not translated it all that artfully, is that both spoken and written language have a grammar which reveals thought, and that this grammar is orderly, ostenditur, in grammatica, both of these, the signum sermonis and the uh, signum literari, you might say. And, in fact, in the written thought, literaria, quidem, to be sure, there are present, insunt, etymology and syntax. And etymology and syntax are present in the written form to the extent that they are represented or fashioned by writing. And in spoken thought, sermocanatrica, on the other hand, there are present in a certain way orthography and prosody because of the communicationem the correspondence of things, objects, subjects, with their signs.